All right, everyone, it's Mystic Juicer back with some more yummy action. That's right, we got hype intro time because it's been a really long time, <laughs> which I apologize for. Uh, I've been very, very busy. Um, so we've got Legion and Hobbs in uh, grand finals of Lum's Lucky Lottery. And uh, yeah, the all random tournament. So all the characters are going to be uh, randomly chosen at the end of every match. Whoever uh, loses gets to choose either to re-random themselves or re-random their opponent. Uh, and that's it. And you just got to play the hand you're dealt. And we're seeing Persephone versus Hopsu. Oh, one thing I need to mention. Uh, Hopsu is in winners. So this is uh, Hopsu's first time in um, grand finals, I believe. And uh, he has a chance here to take this first to four and uh, and just win, just straight up win. Uh, so Legion opens queen on the first um, on the first play there, playing open to only queen or dodge, uh, which is fair. Get caught with the eight throw. Uh, he's got kind of an awkward hand here. I mean. I say that, but really against Setsuki, you're going to be uh, duffing throws with whatever you have at hand and throwing dodges when you can um, and just blocking queens if you're out of uh, those other options. Um, so it's not like this hand is particularly bad, right? Um, any one combat is gonna lead to 10 damage and knockdown. Uh, going for the king throw here, I believe. We've got a three-card hand from Hobsu. Nice. Okay. Plays to get out. So, yeah. So, whenever Setsuki's on a three-card hand, there's like a guaranteed way to get out. She can either throw or dodge. Um, throw is guaranteed to get you out because uh, no matter what happens, if you lose combat except to a can't combo attack, uh, you can just toss a card for your face down and then you're back down to one card. Ooh, it's kind of a rough uh, reveal there. We've got a seven, which is a very nice throw to have. The joker is obviously very important. Three doesn't matter all that much. Uh, doesn't see any queens though. So uh, queen very likely here. So hopsu has got to think about whether he wants to... Um, just play standard and not try to save those three cards, or if he actually wants to adjust his play um, and, uh, and potentially save the seven and the joker, shuffle those back in. So he could do that by playing any card that doesn't give him normal draw. Yeah, there we go. And if he's got a pair, he can power up here and save those cards, Yeah, which he will choose to do. Powering up a pair of eights and does find, goes looking for the ace. Uh, so very likely has the other ace in hand. Yeah, okay, goes for the classic, just power up for aces, grab a card, hit with two aces. Oh, no, okay, no. Did not have it. Just converts uh, a fairly good amount of damage there. And he's gonna go up, go ahead and draw five cards here. Hopefully we'll have found another ace. Certainly Legion has to consider the possibility. He does have a joker though. Uh, so he uh, he can play pretty safely here. Uh, the only thing that's really, really going to hurt him is if he loses to uh, AA from, uh, from Hobbs. Okay. Goes for the attack, gets the successful dodge. Should expect to see a jack probably come out here. Yeah, he could have gone for the eight throw and then uh, use the jack to power up, but his hand is kind of garbage right now. I would expect him to pick up the two. Yeah, guaranteed dodge. So he's got both sides of a uh, credible dodge or throw mix up, and he's got the uh, he's got a pair of fives that he can now use off the next knockdown if he gets it uh, to try to convert into uh, a more aggressive hand. Ooh, wow. Okay, hard read from Humps that uh, Legion was going to go for uh, dodge there, dodge or block. And unfortunately allows uh, Legion to refuel here. Yeah, all of that seems very reasonable. Queen for 
only lose to uh, to queen um, king for just a higher damage throw 10 for that solid or jack for that solid knockdown and the 10 obviously to uh, constrain Setsuki's options so, okay it does go for the 10 do we have a counter we do not Ooh, finds another joker could be the first one again I don't know uh, but also gets rid of a counter so wow nice Hobson completely undeterred I was like eh you don't seem like you've got two aces and you don't seem like you're that uh, confident so I'll just go over the throw try to get lethal fortunately uh, Legion does have the Joker uh, survives again and remains standing yeah definitely <laughs> yeah let's get rid of that joker i want to make this comeback as easy as possible to achieve um a little surprised we didn't see a power up there um maybe he doesn't want to power up the nines just for the guaranteed damage i don't expect that there would be much Ooh, hops who gets outsped by 0.2 gonna get put on the ground here and now we've got a, a fairly frightening mix-up situation. Or Legion can decide to cash out this Jack for a bunch of damage. Uh, so the Jack can go to 15. So we have 12, 15, 27. That would leave him at 14. So, you know, probably one mix-up away, but then his hand is like trash. So, uh, yeah, makes more sense. Just pick up uh, another group of cards stuff that we can power up with there we go and then power up the jacks yep there we go uh, for those of you wondering why i'm not switching between the two characters to see what uh hobbs has in his hand uh, i prefer this style of play where uh, if i'm spectating one person i'm talking about their valuation um, I find with uh, perfect knowledge of both characters, it turns into a much more like, I don't know, it's like a much more critical cast because I have access to information that I'm adding into my analysis that the char the players don't. So it's like, oh, that seems, that's such an obvious mistake, but it's only obvious because I can see both of their hands. Um, so I like this more. Gives you a bit of um, commentary on the valuation and uh, still keeps kind of the playing along with the uh with the players options open so no dodges which is unfortunate for legion um so he's kind of soft to uh to a queen here and hobbs hasn't drawn or played one yet yeah there it is makes the right call plays patient and as a result, is rewarded with a dodge that he needs. Uh, now he's really set up to do whatever he wants. So every combat win from Legion from here on out is going to be very, very scary for Hobbs. Ooh, yeah, there's that knockdown. That's 50% of remaining hit points. Uh, the ace attack from Hobbs means that uh, he likely does not have a uh, a queen in hand. And uh, Legion's gonna, gonna do his best here to um, to use the 10 to guarantee that he doesn't draw it. Or at least, yeah, yeah, he can't do it this turn, but he's going to have a peek and see like how likely it is that he has another queen. So unless Hobbs exactly drew a queen on this turn, um, Legion should feel confident to say, okay, I've got the dominant speed attacks. I have the threat of ace-ace. I can uh, just play ace-ace here and be 100% safe. I can go for a cross-up attempt. I can go for dodge. Yeah, goes for dodge, goes for the safe stuff. Kamsu on a lot of pre under a lot of pressure there to uh, make uh, to make the brave play of, of wake up throwing against dominant speed attack. And uh, unfortunately, uh, anticipated a more aggressive, uh, less safe strategy. Okay, so Hobbs gonna stick on Setsuki. Legion re-rolls to Gloria. Uh, Gloria versus Setsuki is very interesting. I think it's fairly even, actually. 
Um, Gloria can do a lot of rushdown. Um, that's my preferred method to play Gloria anyway. Uh, I really like playing her as a, her as a very aggressive rushdown character, uh, supported by her ace and stuff like that. Um, but um, in this matchup especially, you're kind of racing against your opponent's rushdown. Uh, the one, like, you both... Both Gloria and Setsuki have an incredible card velocity, so they get to cycle through their decks incredibly rapidly. Um, so the likelihood that both of them are going to see their jokers is very high, which means that they have higher effective life totals, but they have very low starting like or max life totals. Um, so Legion playing it a little bit more slowly. Uh, this 10 may be just to bait uh, the counter. I don't think there was really any value he was going to get out of i guess he could play the seven do seven as a dodge or a throw next turn but that's essentially all uh the only way he's going to get value out of that card so i don't think i would be too mad as legion to get that countered okay hobbs is sensing well you know maybe maybe that's an indication that you just don't really have anything uh goes in and cashes in 23 damage Setsuki is actually set up to uh, fight Gloria quite nicely uh, in that uh, she deals very consistent damage every turn. So uh, it's really about momentum for both of these characters. You're really fighting over the same things. Like you just want to, you both of them just want to get combat wins. They both want to draw their jokers. Um, well, probably Gloria wants to draw her jokers more than Setsuki does. Setsuki just wants to find damage as quickly as possible. Oh, Hobbs goes in with the 10 throw. That's the second one. The 10 is the throws on display twice. Has nothing off of that, though. Uh, so very awkward hand for uh, for Hobbs here. Uh, just goes for the knockdown. I suppose that it could just indicate one more throw and no kings in hand. I think that's very likely. If you have the king, obviously you go for the, you go for the counter. You go for the obvious stuff. Okay, and do we see the king tossed away here for Legion? I would expect so. Oh no, no, okay, just goes to win combat. Is he going to overdose? Yeah, okay, so he's playing it he's playing it dangerously. Obviously you would you would very much prefer to do that uh with a life lead. Is rewarded though with two jacks, so these are gonna be very, very important. These can allow him to play somewhat of a longer game. Um, so he can throw into multiple jacks for multiple heals, um, or he can dodge into just the nine damage side of, uh, of jack to get good, good healing percentage off. And he's going to go for that. Hobbs with the Haymaker Queen coming out. Okay, overdose again. Uh, right now, still kind of helping Setsuki, um, I would say, I don't know if I'd say more than Gloria, uh, but certainly still helping Setsuki. The closer that uh, that Legion gets to like 20 hit points, um, the scarier a situation he's going to be in. Okay, really only has block or attack in his hand here. Ooh, another queen. That's going to be disappointing for Legion. No face down. Yeah, no, not much sense in doing anything there because uh, Setsuki player is definitely just going to cash in for as much as he can. Nope, no ace. Wants to draw as many cards off of that uh, play as possible. Picks up the queen again. Yep. Just duff if you've got it. Got bag of tricks. So seven throw, seven throw, ace, ace. Interesting. Okay. Um, huh. As opposed to seven queen and like a dodge. I I guess. I guess uh, he wants to. He wants the reach, the guaranteed reach, and just plays the queen. Oh wow! No, he didn't have the queen. Okay. Wow! 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 Yeah! 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 That's uh, 
That's that's the good Setsuki mix up right there. <laughs> okay, five hit points for Gloria. No more overdose until something really extravagant happens here. He is not going to heal, and I agree with that. Uh, there's really nothing he can pick up that would be dramatically valuable. Uh, maybe the seven. Maybe you just cycle to get the seven, and get get to nine hit points, try to make something happen. But yeah, th these are tricky calls. I wouldn't feel comfortable criticizing uh, either either decision there. All pressure on Hobbs to finish it out. Yeah, there we go. No Joker in hand, so unless he gets a very good bluff. Nope, does not even choose the bluff. That's going to be it for round two or game two. Uh, Hobbs finishing off that match. And Legion gets an option to re-roll. Okay, he's going to stick on Gloria. We're going to rematch. I'm going to switch to Hobbs's point of view. Uh, so this will be interesting. I uh, suck at Zane is the technical term. Um, so this will be an interesting match to watch from Hobbs' perspective, who almost by definition has a better Zane than I do. I think I've gone, uh, I'm like one eight in, in my Zane play. <laughs> um, so it'll be interesting to learn. Yeah. Uh, dropping the block here makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, so why is this matchup advantage for Zane? Uh, well, uh, Zane has very good dodges. Uh, he can dodge into a bunch of knockdown. His uh, advantage time comes off of knockdown. Uh, and that is the explicit weakness of Gloria. Uh, he's got, he's a rushdown character with a lot of hit points. So, uh, you know, Gloria prefers a longer game where she can zone people out. Uh, she likes playing against lower damage characters. Uh, the lower the damage you can do to Gloria, the, the more easily she can checkmate you and the more value she can get you get off of her heal. Uh, so Zane just kind of shuts all of that stuff down. Okay, it goes in with a nice eight throw there. Is that, that's the same eight he blocked with, so giving away no information. And we should probably expect to see a queen into jack here, possibly. Goes for the damage, gets the knockdown, 22 hit points off of two cards. It's pretty nasty. Uh, he's got a pretty rude cross up here. Uh, so Gloria only has her queen to defend against this. And honestly, if you're clashing nine against Gloria queen, you're probably coming out ahead. Okay, Gloria Jokers gets the two aces. And, and the question here really is, uh, do you play Overdose here? Like, okay, <laughs> chooses to do so. Because uh, your option, your, every, every matchup, uh, every bad matchup for Gloria, let's put it that way, um, she really has to make a decision between whether she's going to play for Overdose uh, and heals or if she's going to play a more standard uh, neutral game to try to build the hand kind of the honest way. And uh, yeah, I mean, you don't want to be playing for overdose from behind, ideally, obviously. Um, and 30 hit points down is a lot of mileage uh, that she's got to get. So let's say three overdoses to deal 30 damage to your opponent. And if you heal every time, it's only 18 for you. Uh, that's still probably not a trade you particularly want to make. And Hobbs makes the right call, gets the successful throw, finds a six that he can chain into a, the seven in his hand if he wants to do it that way. Yep, there we go. Max damage every time. 23 hit points remaining on the Gloria side. She will get a chance to heal here and get at least one turn of value out of her healing sphere, uh, but then that is going to get knocked off. And uh, stuck on a seven card hand, one ace, no, two aces in hand. So five useful cards and two aces. I think as Zane here or as Hopsu here, you completely disrespect any possibility of uh, triple ace super from uh, Gloria. 
you get hit with it, you get hit with it. It doesn't really matter all that much. Unfortunately, Hobbs a bit uh, dodge starved here. Yeah, there we go, finds the four. So the four gives him quite a bit of options. He can uh, he can either use it to create or destroy those those all important aces, um, or he can use it as a dodge to try to get in. Probably more likely to use it to get in. Yep, just goes for the Joker. I like that. You know that your opponent has 18 points of damage uh, in aces in his hand. So just preserving as much hit points, as much life as you can, uh, while forcing him to uh, overdose to try to get uh, a, a hand that he's comfortable taking into uh, the late game. Three kings in hand for Ahabs, and uh, we're going to see those as deciding factors, I think, in this game. Ooh, goes for the throw blow up and uh, gets poked with the worst attack he can get poked with. Okay. Big damage. So this is a lot of equalization. Uh, is Legion going to overdose off of this? I don't even know if he has another ace. No, he does not. Okay, just equalizes life totals. We, he's got known jack in hand. Okay, tosses the jack to get the ace back. Very even life totals, going to play to win combat. So, uh, tells me that he has good cards in hand? question mark <laughs> uh, or he's very confident in uh, he's going to be able to successfully uh, manage neutral against Hobbs there's the dodge we've got Joker backup yeah Joker backup makes a lot of sense 100% um, we're going to see a king come out here <clears throat> because five cards on your back no healing no extra draw oh Okay, uh, I think I prefer, well, okay, I think I prefer playing the king because you've got two more, I'll say that. Um, however, this very much disguises that he has any kings in hand. Then again, he dodged and then threw with the five that he drew, so... Yeah, I, th I think this definitely plays to confusion on, like, plays to confuse Legion. Oh, do we dodge into AA? I think we probably just dodge into AA here. We've seen the one Joker go already. Okay, no, it just blows him up. Interesting. I guess he's got cross up nine. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, we've seen two queens hit the discard. Ooh, uh, not sure about that. Six, nine. Oh, he had the other queen. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now the only thing we're worried about is another queen. So we've got 25 cards, and the top card has to be, or, or 25 cards, and the top five cards have to contain a queen or a joker. Oh, no, there's no joker. Okay, yeah. So we're going to see, we're going to see a nine cross up. Or an, an eight throw here, one hundred percent of the time. Like nine cross up is very rude. Oh, the nine would have done it. Gets five chip. That's not. It's not terrible. He's still got the king uh, that he can wake up with. But uh, yeah. I'm not sure what value the king had over nine there. Okay, yeah, Legion finds the queen. So he does that. He has that 1.0 speed. Oh, the immediate mash. Oh, God. Okay, it works out. But, uh, yeah, that would have been... That would have been very scary. I <clears throat> guess the knockdown puts him at very importantly eight hit points. So nine attack clash against queen is still gonna kill. Uh, 
how many odd blocks do we have we have almost no odd blocks in the discard so i can see why uh hobbs might not want to play the nine uh, dodge seems fine yeah okay so either one was gonna was gonna win there hobbs takes game three uh, you finish him off with the with the with the uh, slipstream. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, look, I'm cheering for Hobbs because I always cheer for the underdog. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put that out there. Uh, you know, to answer why y'all are confused about why I'm cheering for Zane against Gloria in the matchup. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. Quince versus Legion. That's interesting. This this should be neat. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> what can I say about this matchup? Um, again, very momentum-based. Um, Gloria gets to be her zoner self in this matchup. Um, Quince has some similar properties to uh, Zane. He's got a he's got a more finicky uh, vortex than Zane does. Um, he's got very good dodges, um, but it is a little less scary to throw him than uh, to throw Zane. Um, if you throw into a Zane two poke, um, which is like his kind of standard, like this is a good button to press in neutral, that can still lead to like 24 damage and knockdown. If you throw into Quince, in order for him to really punish that throw, he's got to play a five attack or a raw queen or something like that. Like it's just very different. Or like Patriot Mirror, which is, it's a fine speed at 2.8, but literally everything gloria has will blow that up so so expect to see legion's throw game a little bit more on point this round nice okay yeah defends himself against cross up three i like it um has legion powered up for ace yes he has okay Okay, so powering up with dodges, I, I get it, right? Those fours are not doing you anything any good in hand. Um, but dodges are very important in this matchup. You're pretty much playing like dodge duff with some throws mixed in. Oh, and we've got, is this a Patriot Mirror? Yeah, okay, it's Patriot Mirror turn, okay. <laughs> We're spending it. We're going in, boys. So dodge is actually quite key here. Um, if I am Legion, I'm probably blocking even. Taking another 10. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, 4, 5, four, five 10, because that's the only cards we can get. Okay, there's our Queen. There's our damage card. And maybe the 4 and the Queen? Or the 10 and the Queen? Yeah, that, that seems reasonable. Okay, Legion gives him the pair. So if he wanted to, so it's a turn too late for Hobbs to power up those fives. Nice, goes for the cross up, yeah. Yeah, that's right, sorry. When I said Legion should be blocking even, I'm, uh, I meant the opposite of that. <laughs> blocking odd seems very smart. Uh, you haven't seen any any sixes at all. Like he's got to have the six in order to make something happen there. So after that exchange, uh, that was a very favorable for Legion. He came out of that only getting knocked down, only taking seven damage, and Hobbs spent a lot of resources to get that far. I think you probably draw to rotate here. Yeah, no real no real value to be gained off of the uh, off of the chip damage. Okay, and we reset to neutral. The only difference here is that Hobbs has way less dodges than he did. Um, he does have a deterrent through Consent of the Governed. He's gonna to wanna to get a third ace as quickly as possible to turn that on. 
30 damage is nothing to sneeze at in this matchup. Yeah. Uh, and Legion going, well, okay, you spent a lot of resources. You didn't really find anything to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss you with a 7. Very reasonable. Now let's advance to the late game together. I'm just going to refill this handful of cards, if you don't mind. Yeah, Legion asserting his game plan. Still with an okay amount of cards in his hand. So we know of those six cards, we know one's an ace and one's a jack. Yeah, and uh, Legion just cashing in the sevens in his hand. Okay, doesn't throw the jack on there. Uh, wants the knockdown, okay. <clears throat> so... Um, uh, cross-up attempt threat? Just wants a safe turn. His hand doesn't really support a huge cross-up combo, so I don't know that Hobbs really needs to react to this. He can play pretty safely, just block with a Joker backup. Yep, there we go. Good exchange for him, gets a grip of cards. Uh, yeah, holding on to the sevens makes a lot of sense. I don't think you want to do anything with that ten until you've got your third ace up. Yeah, so the only thing slowing Hobbs down is really the lack of dodges in his hand. Um, Legion has shown a great willingness to throw. Ooh. Yeah, so Hobbs expecting another throw, gets blown up by the uh, the Okie Doke Jack, layer zero Jack. Face down, okay, gets out of some potential damage in theory. Overdose to put the pressure on. Now with a 10 hit point lead for Legion. 39 to 30. This is where things get scary. Still only the one dodge. Ooh, gets caught blocking. Oh, wow. That was a pretty aggro throw. Um, probably cash out the queen here for as much damage as possible. Yeah, there we go. And the eight or the 10. Ooh, doesn't fully pump, interesting. Five additional damage to put up to 19. Seems important. Okay, yeah, positive spin pressure is very nice. Um, oh, rescued by the two. Yeah, getting the sevens, getting the queens. Okay, so your dodges are very important, so you're going to value them in your placement. Uh, okay. Yeah, that seems more reasonable. Uh, the other option is put two queens together and put everything else on the other side. So you have either get 30 damage off consent of the governed or you get a dodge. So splitting the difference slightly there. Um, it's awkward setup here because you really want to tax dodges. Okay, yeah, that, that's fair enough, fair enough. See how Legion reacts to this. We haven't really seen him, there haven't been enough situations here to really get a sense of what he would react to this with. Okay, just played the obvious thing. Wow, drew into lethal. Do we have, how many jokers spent? No jokers spent. So we're probably gonna be singleton ace here or just queen. Either way, you, you do follow up into this for sure. Wow, okay, doesn't do it. 
Huh. I mean, it was correct not to. Uh, I just don't know. Like, you've got a value versus Gloria. Uh, the, like, depriving her of her dodge uh, versus giving her two cards, I guess, is your, your evaluation there. Finds another dodge. Successful. This could be the uh, the consent turn. And there it is. Wow. Three goes up three one. So Hobbs on match point now. Okay, and Legion with the immediate re random wants to get out of this. This is another really interesting hero. I'm just going to switch out. I don't really have a good enough memory to remember what he had. Uh, but this is a really interesting matchup, I think. Um, Lum has a lot of tools to deal with Quince's mix-ups, but he's also kind of vulnerable in a weird way. Um, Quince never really has to worry about taking damage if he gets thrown. So it's really about... Um, not getting blown up by attacks and making sure that you don't get um, like a lethal comboed or uh, out of dam out of combat damaged to death. At the same time, like both of these characters kind of want to play a like dodge duff game or a block duff game. In the early game. Um, Lum's throws really turn on, like, once he's got a huge hand size, obviously. Uh, but Quince can kind of get, like, a free early game, depending on how things shake out. Like, I think Legion just put the 6th through on the table, and if Hobbs loses this, it doesn't really even matter. Yeah. We take six, we get rid of a six, that's fine. The uh the king throws are are quite nice in this matchup for uh for Quince. Or I guess kings in general are quite nice as a uh, as a target in this matchup. Um uh, it's very similar to the Gloria matchup, actually, now that I think about it. Um the main difference is just that Lum can't really capitalize off of throw throw wins. Like his throw wins are way worse, uh, especially in the early game. So Quince gets his spin. He's going to play the... Uh, I, I love these turns. No matter what happens here, somebody feels like a genius and somebody feels like an idiot. Uh, I like to see that. <laughs> I like the big reads. <laughs> it's the rook player in me. Um... So yeah, the mix up here is just like honest queen or uh, dodge, really. Yeah, Hobbs going for the big, the big brain honest queen play, and Legion going like, no, <laughs> I I disagree. Um, so he can go Jack eight, or yeah, just queen queen makes a lot of sense. Here we go, RNG. How much do you like Legion? Okay, he gets to keep his queens, but he does lose the tens. Or does lose the ten. <clears throat> Draws another one, though, immediately. <laughs> uh, Legion's getting a big combo online slowly. He's got jack, seven, eight. So if he picks up a six, it's going to lead into 25 damage off of a successful jack. Uh, the neutral in this matchup is just really going to look like uh, neither playing do neither player doing a lot of uh, like either both players basically playing pokes in uh, Lum's case or dodging a lot in either case. Uh, Quince has much more kind of pressure to throw, I guess. I don't know if I want to say that exactly, but he gets more value off of his throws, so he probably has throws more in his range. So his, his dodges are a little more online. Okay, Legion just uh, chipping away at Quince's hit points here. 
slowly adding up. If Hobbs ever finds a king and an opportunity to use it, uh, this could get very scary for Legion very quickly. Then again, Hobbs also has to believe that Legion is completely starved of sixes and, and eights. Ooh. Yeah, so, you know, we had, what, like three successful throws from Legion? We've had two from Hobbs, and they're going to be at about the same hit point total. Okay, it puts on a six. No double pump. Interesting. Just values having that eighth card in hand, or that ninth card in hand, I guess. Okay, there we go. There's the king. So unless he top decks a seven, uh, yeah, a six or an eight here, um, this can get scary. He, I mean, he's completely safe right now because you can just play a poke with uh, with Joker backup. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna see. Hobbs gets the does not quite get the super value off of the dodge uh, or off the spin of the king. Okay, still no throws for Legion. Does escape the Vortex, though, with the Joker. I'm just going to pick up that King again, for sure. Finds another King. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I think that's just fine right there. <laughs> I guess you could put both kings on the one side and then the jack and the queen of the two on the other if you really want those kings. And I think your opponent just goes like, yeah, well, obviously I'm going to give you the, the two kings. But still, huge hit off of that, uh, like big, big value off of that two for sure. Robs. Very close life totals. Um... Legion in a situation where he's got to play. He's stuck in the block poke game plan. He's got to play that style of game. Yeah, just blocks his way up. He's like, I've got 11 cards in hand, and you know I have queens. So uh, I'm just going to assume you're going to scare yourself out of uh, attacking. Okay, going for the cycles now. No power ups on uh, Hobbs' side, I think. Nails the ace. We can see it again. He's found an eight now. And a six. So he's safe from king mix-ups. Okay. Second seven does not hit. Gets a small amount of scouting off. His uh, poker flourishes are slowly coming online. It's four of a kinds. So we haven't seen... There's no fourth queen or fourth king. Fourth queen or fourth king are still available to come into the, into the hand. Oh, wow. Legion now getting caught with the aggressive throws from Hobbs. Going to cash out with this, uh, with this queen. Again, doesn't double pump. Just dealing 19, equalizing the life totals. <laughs> Yeah, no, you gotta wait. This is the power up turn. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now Legion has the means to defend against this king. Uh, but again, you can you can see like Hobbs can just play the king and it's very low risk yeah so he's gonna get cashed on for however much that legion wants to pump this by uh but even if he does it's 17 damage which at this game this point of the game is not nothing but it's also not like not massive yeah just pumps it with one yeah, just bluffs with the six just to prevent maybe particularly crazy uh stuff from happening there now that two sevens have been played, feels safe enough to add two more aces to his hand. So Consent of the Governed is fully powered up now. Legion thinking about how he wants to respond to this. Gets another anti-king card, which is good. Uh, 
So Jack seems very good. Wait, how fast is consent to the governed? 1.2. Never mind. Jack is terrible. Definitely not going to be playing Jack. So it's either queens or throws or just blocking. Uh, but Legion has Legion has the dominant speed attack, so he gets to set the pace of this exchange. Also has the dominant speed throw. So he does have to think about how Hobbes is going to value that. Goes for the 10 throw, the hardest possible read. Cash is out fully. That's going to be 22 damage. Bringing Hobbs down to 15. Nice 10 throw. Ah, okay, here we go. Yeah. Gonna try to finish things off with the poker flourish. Yeah, it needs all four aces for that. Ah, okay, preserving the queen. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's gonna grab an ace, uh, and then he's gonna power up two of his aces to pick up another ace. So he's gonna have single ace, single queen, if he doesn't kill off of this turn. Thirteen damage. W wow, okay. Uh that was interesting. Um Yeah, I'm not sure why you would hit there. So now he's in a way rougher spot. He can kill off of this sixth throw though. Hobbs knows he has an ace and queen. Oh, he just does it. He just does it. Wow. <laughs> Battle of the big brains right now. Uh, the sixth throw made a lot of sense there from Legion. Exact lethal, super tempting. Um, he, you know, Hobbs knows that he that Legion has both a queen and an ace, so dodge is very strong there. Oh, checkmate king. It is checkmate king, if Hobbs believes that Legion does not have another throw. And of course, yeah, it's like four card hand, you've already played, yeah. Uh, can Hobbs have lethal here? Oh, no face down. Yeah, if he's got a queen, that's over. Queen pump pump for 15, exactly. Yeah, and there it is. Wow. Hobbs with the 4-1 against Legion. Not easy to do at all. Very impressively played. Um, congratulations to Hobbs on the, uh, on the victory. Very nice. Um, first time, uh, first time, first place finish, right? Uh, so that's very, very exciting. Um, and a beautiful performance. A lot of fun to watch that, that, that series. Uh, well played on, on both sides for sure. Um, yeah, so, uh, wow, that was, I'm super glad I got to commentate that. I'm going to go into Discord and uh, give Hobbs his props. And until next time, enjoy yourselves some Yomi. Cheers.